Hi and greetings everyone, this time from a hotel room in Southern California, uh, where I am visiting a number of Jewish day schools that I have the pleasure of working with. I hope this finds everybody doing well, staying warm and safe. Purim Purim Lanu, Pesach in Laman. Purim is upon us, Pesach is at hand. On the surface, Purim and Pesach could not be more different. The story of Purim is one in which God's name is absent, the story of Pesach is replete with God's overt presence. The story of Purim has no seemingly miraculous occurrences, while the story of Pesach has supernatural miracles at almost every turn. In the story of Esther for Purim, there are so many moments of uncertainty about what will happen next. While the Exodus tale drives relentlessly towards a conclusion promised hundreds of years earlier. Yet, the ways that we celebrate these holidays have some striking similarities. On both Purim and Pesach, we retell their central narratives. On both holidays, we gather around a table to eat together as a key element of it. Amidst the celebrations for each of these festivals, we make special efforts to ensure that those in need have the ability to celebrate. Finally, whether through sending delicacies to one another or inviting guests in, each of these holidays nurtures deeper connection with one another. These similarities provide us with an enduring understanding. Sometimes life feels more like Purim. It's so uncertain. The big picture and meaning are so obscure. The next step unclear. Other times, life feels like Pesach. We can feel so attuned to purpose, like we know exactly where we're headed and how we're going to get there. But in either case, the similarities in how we observe Purim and Pesach teach that there are some things we must do regardless of what circumstance we feel we're in. We must always strive to hear one another's stories. We must strive always to gather around the table in communal nourishment. We must always strive to maintain our sense of generosity toward one another. And we must always strive to lift up those that might be easily left behind. In this way, no matter what season we find ourselves in, we will maintain a constant thread of meaningful actions that are in and of themselves something worth celebrating. Wishing everyone buenas entradas de Shabbat, a wonderful Shabbat up ahead, and a Purim Alegre, a joyous Purim next week as well.